Hey there VCHHD students, my name is Andy, I'm a VC Health and Human Development teacher. In this short video we're going to look at understanding the concept of burden of disease and the associated measures DALI, YLL and YLD in VCHHD. So first of all, this slide here is just looking at how burden of disease is relevant across unit one to four HHD. So you'll see it pops up uh, in unit one as a health status indicator at the start of area study one. And that also comes up in relation to understanding health data on youth health and wellbeing. Across unit three to four, it pops up quite a few more times than unit one, two. So you'll see it's also a health status indicator at the start of unit three. But then you're also looking at the contribution to Australia's health status and burden disease of a range of different factors towards the end of area study one. So for example, you need to be able to link how smoking can contribute to Australia's burden of disease. In unit four, it comes up towards the beginning of area study one again, when looking at similarities and differences in health status and burden of disease of low, middle and high income countries. And then once again, you're looking at a range of different factors that contribute to these similarities and differences in health status and burden of disease. So for example, you need to understand how access to safe water might contribute to burden of disease in these particular countries. So it's often a concept that I find students get a little bit confused about, but you can see it does come up quite a bit across unit one to four HHD. So it's important that you understand it and you can get your head around it. So what is important to know about burden of disease? I think it's important first of all to look at a description of burden of disease and the associated measures and we'll then touch on the formula. So you can see underneath that dot point at the beginning there, I've got some sub points with the description of each of these different uh, aspects of burden of disease. And so if we start with the first uh, subset there, which is a description just of burden of disease in general. It starts off by mentioning that's a measure of the impact of diseases and injuries. So that's really important, I think, to think about. So whenever we're talking about burden of disease, we're typically trying to relate it to a particular condition, okay, or injuries. And so it's really trying to measure how much of an impact does that disease have on an individual or society. So it's trying to look at, as the definition or description goes on to say, the gap between current health status and an ideal situation where everyone lives to an old age free of disease and disability. And it's measured in the unit called DALI. So really we're trying to think about four particular conditions, how much of an impact do they have on individuals and society. And we're trying to measure that. So the definition then, or the description for DALI in the second sub point there mentions that once again, it's a measure of burden of disease and it's equal to one year of healthy life lost due to premature death and time lived with illness, disease and injury. And so if you look down at the formula here, that will help to make sense of that description. So it says there that DALI or daily, okay, is equal to YLL plus YLD. So YLL is in relation to how many years of expected life are lost due to premature death associated with a particular condition. So for example, if I was expected to live say to 82 years, okay, and I died prematurely perhaps from something like cancer at 70 years, I've lost 12 years of my life, okay, due to premature death as a result of cancer. And so that would be 12 YLLs and contribute 12 years or 12 YLLs to that DALI calculation. And so then YLD is in relation to how many years of healthy life might be lost due to illness, injury or disability. So if I get a condition, say it was a back injury and that might take away from my healthy years of life enjoyed, maybe it might contribute to 10 YLD. And so when working out the DALI for back injuries, okay, I might be able to contribute 10 to that particular number. So it's important to make sure that you understand that DALI is typically in relation to a particular condition and it's looking at both the YLL, so the years of life lost due to premature death from that condition, as well as the YLD for that particular condition. So they are, as that second last dot point says, they're equal in value and that they both represent a year of life lost, either to living with a condition or dying prematurely from a condition. And the last point there mentions that some conditions contribute greater to YLL and others contribute greater to YLD, but all conditions contribute to both of those measures in some way. And probably the easiest way of thinking about this is sort of looking at some data and an example. So you can 
can see this is a, an example from an exam quite a long time ago, but I think that the uh, information presented is a good way for helping people to get their head around this concept of burden of disease. So if you have a look at just the data that's presented in this graph here, okay, it's from 2010, and it's looking at the fatal and non-fatal contribution of these major disease groups. And so when they're talking about fatal, they're talking about YLL, and when they're talking about non-fatal, they're talking about YLDs. And so you can see down the bottom here, it's being measured in um, DALIs. And so you can see here for 2010 for cancers, okay, the contribution of YLL or fatal is approximately 450,000 because we add these three extra zeros onto this number here, DALIs. And then for the non-fatal or YLD contribution of cancer, okay, it's about 100,000 because you go from that 450 to approximately 550,000 measure. So there's about 100,000 delis there. So that shows you that in this example, cancer is contributing more YLLs than YLDs. But then if you go down and, for example, look at mental disorders, there's a much smaller contribution of YLLs than there are of YLDs. So this is what I meant in the previous point where both YLL and YLD contribute, okay, to DALIs for different conditions, but sometimes they contribute in different ways. So you can see at the bottom there, the question um, in the exam for this particular year was asking you to define burden of disease and use an example from the graph to illustrate its meaning, okay? So it's really important, obviously, that you've got your head around burden of disease, the components that make it up, and that you're able to use information like that in a graph, okay, to demonstrate your understanding. Okay, hopefully you found that video useful. If you're after more useful videos like this, exam tips and advice leading up to the HHD exam this year, a new video will come out each day between now and the exam at the end of the year. So if you want to catch all of those, please make sure you subscribe to Health Resources Hub YouTube channel. I'm also doing an exam preparation revision lecture for ACED at the end of the year. There's tickets available at book.acedvc.com. So you can also um, follow us on Instagram and Facebook or send us an email. Thanks so much.